uh, to wait expectantly upon the Lord really requires a lot of, I mean, a deep faith, a really personal relationship with God. Because waiting expectantly means you trust God so much, you know the God that you are hoping for, that He can, what He can do, what He is able to do. Because it's if I tell other wives that you wait expectantly and that wife doesn't have a relationship with God, I don't think she'll not she'll be able to really practice waiting expectantly because um, she will not understand that God is able to transform people and restore marriages. Okay. Um, actually, I started praying for my husband uh, from the time we were together. I was actually very religious already, uh, even before I came to know my husband. But it was during the time that I came to know the Lord in 1998, when uh, I was exposed to reading the Bible, to singing all these praise songs, and to attending a Sunday service um, in CCF, where I really understood what God's wonderful plan is for me. Yeah, uh, when I was praying uh, for my husband, then um, God slowly revealed to me that he was not only in the process of changing my husband, but he was also in the process of changing me. In the beginning, I thought it was my husband who was actually the sinner here, and it was not me. But as I was going through the Bible, God was revealing to me that these are the areas that you also failed to deliver, that you are weak at. And so... Um, then I, later on, I was not just praying for my husband, I was also praying for myself, for God to reveal to me what are the things that I need to change uh, so that I can be a better wife and a better mother and a better servant of God. So from the time that I started uh, praying that, I was really very surprised that in like three years' time, God put my husband in a situation where um, he was charged with frustrated um, murder and then he like remembered me during that time because looking back when we were separated I was not um, bitter towards him in fact I was um, very nice to him I treated him like my husband still even though he didn't love me anymore he was loving someone else he loved someone else actually he loved more than one woman that time but he appreciated at his most miserable stage in his life he remembered that he had a wife who was waiting for him he had a wife who loved him unconditionally and he was waiting just for him to come back and so that night when he didn't know where to go he was already he had a warrant for rest and so he remembered me that's why I was really surprised that in three years' time, he went back, even though he had wrong intentions, but I knew it was God's way of putting us back together. Then, slowly, he started attending Bible studies with me, and then the Sunday service, and then the Dhamma.